She has to dress the way that you want her to dress. Yeah. No matter where she goes. Yeah. Jordan, man is the man. We all saw this coming, didn't we? Now that they're married, now that all of the celebrations are over, Adnan intends to change her. So will Tiger Lily be okay with that? Will she be okay with Adnan's double standards? Whenever you shake another girl's hand in it's front okay, of me, you I'm got... not allowed to. You are next to me. I am not alone. I said everything that I needed to say. It's a big problem when you leave your husband. Has Tiger Lily already had enough? Well, it kind of seems like she might have. But before we get to that, let's rewind to the start. So after the incredibly lavish celebrations of last night, today the pair are planning to go to Petra for their honeymoon. And joining them will be Adnan's brother and Tiger Lily's glam squad. Now, this is a long drive, but before they can head off, Tiger Lily needs to get her hair done. So when Adnan asks for her to be ready in 30 minutes, she laughs in his face. I have to have a bath, I have to do my makeup, Cruz is coming over to do my hair. Baby, we're sitting in the car for hours, why you wanna to make your hair done? Look, Adnan may have a lot of faults, but here I can actually see his point. All they're doing is driving, right? It's unnecessary for Tiger Lily to get her hair done. But I guess having paid for Shay and Cruz to be here, she intends to get her money's worth. Now, Tiger Lily tells Adnan that he better get used to it. This is what comes with having me as a wife, she says. And Adnan kind of reluctantly agrees to it. But even he couldn't imagine in his wildest dreams that three hours later, Tiger Lily would still be getting ready. It's absolutely mind blowing. Her preparation took her four hours. One hour of Adnan waiting in the room until his brother came, and then three hours of him and his brother waiting in the car, getting increasingly frustrated. Like, surely by anyone's standards, that's unacceptable. But, and here's the thing, even though I know that Tiger Lily's in the wrong, there's something scary about the way Adnan's brother says you should take matters into your own hands. Like, he can see that his brother is already agitated. What's he hoping to achieve by pouring fuel on that fire? Baby, this is so annoying. What, baby? Baby, what you uh, for uh, five hours? Baby, I have to get my outside. hair done. Four hours to make your, hand, your hair done? I can't, I can't wait every, baby. every day. The trio all come down with smiles on their faces as if it's a big joke. How hilarious, right? To disrespect someone's time like that. To keep them waiting in the car for three hours. Like, this isn't the first time that Tiger Lily's done that. She did it at the airport, and my money's on her doing it again before this season's up. But, for as visibly annoyed as Adnan is, things take a drastic turn when his brother says hello to Tiger Lily, but then immediately comments on her clothing. This clothes is not good in Jordan. Hey, you are also, you are also. But this is the next time uh, This is not more, your business, this is yeah. my business. Okay, but I'm not the boy. Adnan jumps down his brother's throat. He immediately tells him to back off. He says, it's none of your business, which is correct. He's done the right thing here. But importantly, it doesn't mean he disagrees with his brother. Now, we'll get to that shortly. But for now, with everyone now finally in the car, a dark mood descends upon them. You see, Adnan and his brother aren't the only ones annoyed. Tiger Lily's upset too. On top of Adnan yelling at me, I have his brother Thayer complaining about my outfit. Adnan has his shirt and button to his belly button. This isn't the first double standard that Tiger Lily has noticed and called out. She's finally beginning to wake up to the realization that this might be how her entire marriage goes. Only you've got no one to blame for that but yourself, Tiger Lily. Still, as the car ride kicks off, Adnan begins to get more and more worked up. 
and he starts yelling at his brother in Arabic. Perhaps Adnan watched Nicole and Mahmoud from last season and made notes on what not to do when marrying a fashion conscious American lady. Now, while he is seemingly biding his time, he's trying to incrementally, slowly, slowly get Tiger Lily to bend to his more extreme rules. At the same time, he doesn't seem to have any qualms whatsoever with yelling at everyone for the duration of their drive. Adnan is so angry about how long they took to get ready. I have never seen him like this before and I don't like it. After snapping at Shay and telling her that what he yells at his brother in Arabic is none of her business. Are we fighting? What are we talking it's about? It's not your business now. He does eventually relent and translate what's going on. Now, his brother jumps in, right? He claims his comments about Tiger Lily's clothes were simply to protect her because she is, after all, his sister now. You're trying to protect Tiger Lily? Yeah. Can you explain to me what is wrong with Tiger Lily's outfit? It's not uh, this. Oh, yeah. you don't need this. That tiny glimpse of Tiger Lily's cleavage and her midriff that are showing are apparently not okay in Jordan. But instead of getting mad, Tiger Lily turns to Adnan and she asks him if he thinks her outfit is okay. And as I mentioned earlier, he might have yelled at his brother, but it wasn't because he disagreed with him. Adnan feels exactly the same way as his brother does. So do you think that is my outfit okay or should I have worn something else? Maybe, you know, in the future you will change. And there we have it. Adnan finally admits that her outfit isn't okay. Now, the thing is with Adnan, up until this point, when it comes to her clothing at least, he seemed relatively chilled out about it. Like, he's let things slide when clearly it's taken him a lot of self-restraint to bite his tongue. But that's not going to last for much longer. You see, when Shay quizzes him about whether or not he expects to have the final say about what his wife wears, his response leaves his views and expectations crystal clear. She has to dress the way that you want her to dress. Yeah. No matter where she goes. Yeah. And Jordan, man is the man. Now, Shay and Cruz are worried about how quiet Tiger Lily has been, especially in response to all of this. All she says to Adnan is to let her know what he wants her to change to, and she will. She's already become incredibly submissive, and according to two of her oldest friends, this isn't the Tiger Lily that they know. Next time before I leave, Next time before, like, when you see me wearing something, then just tell me. It's going to be a learning process for me. Now, for as right as that is, right, <laughs> of course, it is now going to be a learning process. The problem, the much deeper problem here, is that Tiger Lily got married to a man whose rules she doesn't know without doing enough research, and now she's in a position where she's entirely dependent on Adnan to figure out what's right or wrong. Like, the rules just aren't clear for her. And what with Adnan's double standards, Tiger Lily's more confused than ever. But I guess that's a problem for tomorrow, because for now, they finally make it to their hotel. He can't just place all these rules on me and expect me to just go along with it. This is not going to be that kind of relationship. As Tiger Lily gets ready for bed, the most shocking thing, right, is the fact that it took Cruz and Shay three hours to do her hair all for that, right? Three hours for one car ride, and it literally doesn't even look any different. Now, when we join them the next morning, after everyone's had a good night's rest and everyone seems to be a little calmer, Tiger Lily seems to be in reflective mood. I've changed how I interact with men, especially Cruz. And it's hard because Cruz and I have known each other for a really long time. 
Now, while the high tension from yesterday seems to have subsided, under the surface, Tiger Lily is simmering. She's suddenly become very aware that her relationship with Cruz, who she's known for over 20 years, is being affected by rules that Adnan doesn't even follow himself. And that comes to a head when they all meet at the car and Adnan shakes Shay's hand. I need Hi. my Google translator. <laughs> Wait, so you're allowed to shake girls' hands, but I can't shake Cruz's hand? What I say is... The double standards hit again. Tiger Lily has had to dress conservatively. She can't even be in a room with a man alone, let alone touch them. Yet here's her husband, shirt unbuttoned practically down to his belly button, shaking Shay's hand. Why? Because, quote, he sees her as a sister. I mean, the hypocrisy of it, right? If he doesn't want other men to touch his wife, why is he touching someone else's wife? If he now straight-faced is saying that he sees Shay as his sister, why is it that Cruz, who Tiger Lily sees as a brother, can't touch her? Yeah, this hypocrisy is too much for her to handle, and Tiger Lily is pissed. So you have different roles than me? Not different roles, I told you before. Then what is it then? These aren't even my roles, why would I be making up my own whatever? This is your thing. Adnan tells his wife that if she didn't want him touching Shay, she should have said so. But he's completely missed the point. Tiger Lily couldn't care less if he touches Shay. That's not the issue here. The issue is the hypocrisy, the double standards. Why, he's allowed to do something, but he expects her not to. And to make matters worse, rather than just admitting that there's a different set of rules for men and women, Adnan flips the script and starts criticizing Tiger Lily for raising her voice. I don't like when I see you like this. Yeah, yeah. You make me so angry and so stressful. I well, can't. I can't fault. do anything now. It's your fault that you can't. You like can't fix it, but without this face. It's as if Tiger Lily is nothing more than a doll for Adnan to play with. He gets to dictate what she does or doesn't do, what she wears or can't wear, but the second she has any real feelings or emotions, the second, God forbid, she stands up for herself, he shuts her down. He starts blaming her for everything. And as we come to find out, what's really irritated Adnan is that Tiger Lily has dared to criticize him in front of his brother and her friends. Women in Jordan, they don't do this, sharing a problem with her husband, like with other people. This is so not respectful for me. And guess what, Adnan? This is gonna blow your mind. Your wife? isn't Jordanian. How hypocritical is it of him that just yesterday, Adnan snapped at Shay and his brother in front of everyone. Like, it's okay for him to have a go at people in front of company, but if his wife dare to do that to him, oh no, 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 he won't stand for it. But the problem is, this is one step too far for Tiger Lily. And the second that they arrive at their destination, Tiger Lily completely drops the mask that she's been wearing this entire trip. Whenever you shake another girl's hand in it's front okay, of me, you I'm got... not allowed to. You I are next to me. I am not alone. I said everything that I needed to say. It's a big problem when you leave your husband. We're finally, finally seeing Tiger Lily fight back against Adnan's rules and demands. She can't turn a blind eye to these double standards any longer. This has all gone too far. It's gone from being romantic in her eyes, as she told us previously, to now becoming controlling. And remember, it was because of her ex-husband's control that her previous marriage failed, she told us. So it seems like finally we're starting to see the real Tiger Lily. The Tiger Lily that Shay and Cruz know so well. I'm not going to be in a relationship with someone that doesn't respect me. You met that Lily, now this is the tiger. <laughs> it's hard to feel sorry for Tiger Lily when she's brought this all on herself. But perhaps she's finally growing a backbone. Perhaps she's finally going to speak up for herself. 
but it might be too late. If only the tiger had come out to play a little earlier.